Hey guys, Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates. This is not the spray session video you guys are going to get, but I am going to try and combine a couple of different things here. Um, I want to show you some of the pieces that have been going out of here recently. And also, I want to answer one frequently asked question because I'm getting ready to clear coat. I get asked a lot of questions about the clear coat. Y'all, most of you at this point know that I use KBS Diamond Strength Epoxy. It's a one coat, one application. There's no mixing. It's very easy. It's good for mass production and it works pretty well. Um, but the question that I want to answer today is how to correctly dip a lipless crank and hang it to where you don't get that pooling at the end. So I am going to show you that. We're going to start out here over at the desk and then we're going to work our way over to the spray bench because that's where I'm in the middle of doing all the stuff today. And I'm going to try and get this stuff done before weigh-in. Um, I've been watching, a lot of you guys I'm sure have seen it, I've been watching the uh, Bassmaster inaugural for this year um, down at St. John's and boy, I tell you what, I, I, I actually, I, I want your opinions on this. I want to know what your thoughts are on the whole Major League Fishing Bassmaster, the split. Um, my thoughts are this. These guys go back a long, long ways together. Um, Dave Mercer and KBD are, are really good old time friends and the same with Zona. I think that this is going to end up being a win-win for tournament fishing as a whole. I don't think that it's going to be a negative and I hope that there's not a whole lot of hate that goes on between. Uh, hopefully not the fans. I think both have an incredible history because MLF is nothing new but the Bass Pro Tour is um, as an aspect of it of course it's hosted by Bass Pro Shops and Johnny Morris and all that good stuff so I, I am really I'm, I'm a fan of MLF I've been watching them for years so I think that maybe some of the the traditional Bassmaster guys that have gone over just wanted to change a pace and boy, that's kind of refreshing because if you guys have been paying attention to Bassmaster this weekend, there's a lot of fresh faces, but a lot of heavy hitters. So I look forward to getting meeting, getting to meet all of them and, and kind of finding out a little bit about their backstory. The Johnston brothers, for example, out of, out of uh, Canada. But I digress. Uh, let me show you what's going on over here. We've got a ribbit this morning. One of these water flow gill through technologies those are jets and lure eyes on there it's got a purple underlayer you guys have seen that before so i won't spend a whole lot of time this is something new these are i love these 62 5 a's these pressings based on duos they're weighted well cedar run carries them here in the states they are from overseas. Um, Bear King and one of the factories over there produces them. Um, they're produced in Japan as well. Cool color. So work well. I would say three seasons out of the year I'd throw this. Certainly during pre-spawn and spawn. And then we've got a Nestorator glow bug. Those green eyes, man. I tell you, those glow eyes are something else. You can pick those up lower parts online just look for chrome eyes these are quarter inch which are the closest to six millimeter if you guys are wondering what that conversion is quarter inch 0.25 or six millimeter and then we have I've been making these good lord y'all have really requested that not you know thank you by the way I really appreciate all the support and love that I get um, a lot of folks do this part-time, a lot of folks do this and have full-time job. This is my full-time job. Fishing and filming and working in this craft of making baits is how I pay all of my bills. And it is a struggle at times, but you guys have really, really started supporting the channel. You've, you're supporting me with Jekyll Baits, and um, I certainly could not do this without you guys. So thank you so much. For the love that you guys continually show me um we're over 3,000 subscribers right now so again thank you i'm going to try and keep giving you fresh content we're a little bit patchy this time of year only because preseason tournament um, my orders are just through the roof and it's crazy and i really have to respect the folks that are 
that are needing baits for for the start, for the tournament season. So, we're, let's jump over to the spray bench. So the, the lighting has changed over here um, because I don't. It's not a hundred percent LED like it is over at the uh, the finishing desk. So I've got these spots and these studio lights. Um, so you have a, a little bit of a, a different perspective, but this is a, a deep diving calico crappie. I normally make these on Little John's, um, but I have a custom request as part of an order. And then these are these are basic, but boy, do they catch the walleye. And smallmouth bass seem to really like them too. Um, it's almost like that banana yellow, but this is the Lake Ontario in that duo pressing that's available right here at Dinger Custom Baits. He's uh, up north, I'm down south. But uh, they're weighted well, they swim well, they suspend on a dime. And then we have another group of these. These have also been very popular as, as time has gone on. You guys love the eyes. And I've got these in four different colors. Um, these come on the, the dinger pressing of this party crank. This wide lip square bill. Happy New Year's, y'all. This is the holographic. You can see that holographic in it. There's your blue and red. We also have them. I made them in this really cool purple. Really, this is this is going to be an Ozark winter and a Northern winter. Um, smallmouth really have a tendency to key in on this color combination. And I've been spraying all day, so I've tried to clean up my hands as best I could for this shoot, but sometimes it doesn't always... Wow, the camera's just not wanting to. There we go. Get a little bit brighter. You guys can see that holographic underlay. And then these are pre-foil baits, so... All right, we are going to pause just for a sec. Actually, let me get you the, uh, the green one here. If I sound like I'm scattered, it's only because it's been a long day. There've been a lot of, a lot of long days back to back. I want to make sure that I'm giving each bait the time that it's due. These are the green meanies. Cool crawl pattern and those eyes, one and only Jets and Lure eyes from John Kimenez. There you go. Okay, so before we get started on the frequently asked question, which is going to be dipping a lipless, I wanted to show you these two. Now, I'm not known for doing musky baits, but lately I've been doing them. This order right here is going to be part of a larger order that's going up to Canada. Um, this is a perch done crevasse style. I'm just going to, because they're so big, these are... I think 10 inches, 11 inches. I'm just going to go ahead and run them through like this so that you guys can see. And it looks like I've ripped away a piece of paper and shown you the underside. So there you go. That's the perch. We're going to set these off to the side. This is another Lake Ontario good for musky walleye and smallmouth. This one's probably a little big for smallmouth, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me if one bit it. Um, this is just a very cool, plain style, uh, but I like the I like the layering that I do on it, and I'm going to show you what I use since we're kind of making this an informative. Um, we're going to come over here, and it is this. You can get that right on Amazon. You can pick it up at Michael's, at Hobby Lobby. You can pick it up at Walmart. And uh, this particular brand, I believe, is Offre. There you go. It's Floral Ribbons in the craft department at Walmart. That I know for 100%. So that's how we do this. And you just want to clamp it down and wrap it real tight. Similar. My client asked for a red and black, so I wanted to do something a little bit different. Kind of has that electricity charged look to it. Just 
Serrata. Man, just it, it, black and red and the black and yellows, they might seem like basic colors, but it's a really cool pattern. He also asked for one of these Imperial Craws, and this is, to date, the biggest lure I've ever done the Imperial Craw on. I normally do them on the jerk baits, but uh, he's, he was really excited about the pattern, and I am too. It's one of my favorite jerk bait patterns. So we said, hey, let's just try it out on a musky bait. So we did, and there it is. Very cool, and if you guys are listening to whatever's happening in the background, Rick Clun just got really close to 100 pounds. I think his bag is 98 pounds and 14 ounces for four days down on the St. Johns River in Palaka, Florida. And this, uh, he also wanted my house Stark version on a musky bait. So of course, House Stark, they're represented by their sigil as a dire wolf and their patterns are gray, white, and black. We did that exposed, not really exposed muscle on this one, we'll call it exposed scale. Flip that over and show you the other side. And there you have it, folks. Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to show you, and the last bait that we're going to show you for this particular session, this is sort of like a workshop update slash FAQ, got a question from one of the subscribers asking, you know, he's saying that um, he's having some problems with this pooling. So obviously the, and, and I've done this before as well, the logical way that, that somebody that hasn't, dip these before they would use this end hanger and it's probably pulling down to the nose of this bait but I'm going to show you a little trick here today um, this is the black and blue stealth on the Scheltz just a little half ounce deal here lipless chrome eyes and uh, really it's going to be a good profile bait but what I want to show you is how I hang these things. So when I'm doing lipless, I don't hang it from the tail. I hang it, I put two of these, one on the top, one on the bottom here. So I'm hanging, and now we're going to twist it like that. And do the same thing on the bottom. And a lot, yeah, I, I try and answer, actually I think I answer all the questions that you guys have when you have comments and questions for the videos because I can, I can run down to my YouTube studio, it's called a Studio Creator or Creator Studio and I can answer those questions but sometimes it's easier to show you guys what's going on. So this, this is how I hang um, and what we're going to do is we're going to hang it like this and now we have a place to put a drip wire on the bottom. So let me put that in place. We're going to dip this on camera and I will take it over to the clear coat rack and show you what's, what's going to happen from that point. Alright, we are just taking this off and this also I get asked constantly how do you store the stuff. I transfer it from the, the quart can that comes in or if I get a gallon at a time I transfer it over to this. Um, and that's going to keep this glass jar, I, I have to clean it out because especially if it's a spaghetti jar, um, it's got some oils and stuff in it, so you really want to clean it super, super good. Um, but this right here, before you screw the lid on, you got to move it around, make sure that it doesn't, because the, the lid, the twisty right here, will cut it into this. So these don't last forever. But they'll last for about four or five uses. And I also try and reuse these every chance I get so if I have one that's a little bit mucked up from clear coat then I'll just cut it off use the other side so what we're gonna do you notice that both of these hangers both of these hangers right here are facing the same direction so that when you go to hang this on um, it's gonna be easy to just lay that right on the wire that you have so all we need to do is take this and dip it right into your jar. Pull it out slow. 
the slower you pull this out, the less chance you have of bubble buildup too. That's another question I get frequently from dipping. Obviously this is a one coat application. Now I could, and I think I can with this, can hold that with one hand then I can put this little drip wire on the tail piece, this tail eyelet, let it catch that, and we'll just take the whole jar over to the clear coat rack. We'll set this up here. And now we can just hang that. And as you guys can see, this little knucklehead is going to drain properly now. Okay? And you can kind of stagger it like that. And that's going to be perfect. And that is how I hang a lipless. I really appreciate you guys hanging with me. I got to get back to these. We got to clear coat a bunch more baits. And I really want to watch this weigh in. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I always appreciate the company. It's always great company. Thank you guys so much for your support. I love all y'all, and we'll talk to you on the spray session, which should be coming out in just a couple of days. So we'll see you soon. Happy casting.